I love the city. It's just, it's too much, uh, it's too many break-ins and <laughs> yeah. car issues for me. Daniel Norton and Brian Hayes the city of Memphis, but they're getting ready to pack up and leave due to all the recent crime downtown. Norton says his car was broken into last month while it was sitting in his parking garage, costing him more than $400 to repair. I pay to park there monthly and someone broke into the front driver's side, didn't even steal anything or like valuable. So there was some relief knowing Memphis police arrested and charged several teens trying to break into vehicles near Bill Street over the weekend. Police reports say the teens were seen wearing black ski masks and hoodies. MPD says all of the boys were caught with stolen items, including a loaded gun. The teens are all charged with evading arrest, theft of property and burglary to a vehicle. Out of the six teens that were arrested, Memphis police say five of them were between the ages of 15 and 17 years old. These arrests come after a string of car break-ins downtown. My sister's been broken into, her car has been broken into three times in the last two months. Just in the immediate downtown area, Memphis police have responded to 63 vehicle break-ins in the past month. It's unknown if these teens played a role in any of those incidents. Everyone we spoke to say they are not surprised by the ages of the teens who were recently arrested. They just want to see solutions moving forward. It kind of falls back on like parenting and like if they have access to stuff that they can do. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Cormitra Wilborn, WRAG, News Channel 3.